What's up guys, welcome back to Jay Rue Productions and another Half Price Books Copy Haul video. This is episode number 95, but before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about comic book subscriptions. This is my brand new company called Comics Express. And the video has dropped today. It's basically my own personal comic book subscription service featuring the comic books that I purchased from comic book halls such as Half Price Books, Craigslist, and other comic book stores. Just to give you a quick sneak peek and synopsis, basically, it only costs you $20 plus $4.99 shipping, and you get 10 highly collectible comics picked from my own personal haul, of course. You know how expert I am. And lucky is picking out comics so in addition to these 10 let me just give you a quick sneak peek they are all bag and boarded and of course it's with the resealable kind of books bags quick sneak peek the 10 make sure you check out the video guys special covers variant covers and also additional free comic such as this clearance comic and i'll even autograph it with my jro name if you guys want to all right now let's get on with the haul I want to make a special announcement I am gonna upload my videos on a regular basis Wednesdays Saturdays and Sundays so remember that Wednesdays Saturdays Sundays hump day cartoon Saturdays and church Sundays or football Sundays keep that in mind so oh, oh, oh. What's up guys here I'm in the Chesterfield area we're gonna check out this half price book never been in here before I think this recently opened up it's located right next to the Scott Trade. And this plaza right here in Chesterfield. Let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, what's up guys? I'm doing my first haul of 2018. So this Chesterfield half price books. First time here. A whole bunch of comic books right here. Cash for comics. Let's go ahead and check out their most valuable box. Gonna throw this real quick. Got some Star Wars here. All right, nothing that. These are the ones I'm gonna buy right here. All right. We got. Stacks and stacks, alphabetized. Some graphic novels in the back. Got some collectible toys here. Got some more here. I went through all of these. So you got some clearance comics right here. All right, they're either 25 cents marked or 50 cents. You know what's cool about this place is that they put their stickers on the back unlike the other half price books. So that way it doesn't ruin the front coverage, you know, that's what's important. Got the 25 cents right here. See these other half price books you need to learn from this location. Some collectible games back here. Speaking of games, I just recently found my original NES system. Here are a couple that I just had to put back. I already have doubles of these. I put this Civil War back. Found Spider Man, but no space to put these. Let's go ahead and start out with the clearance items. But you're saying, hold on a second, how is that a clearance comic, Asia Fee? Now I don't see a half price books sticker price on there. Well, 
this on the back. That's what I love about those two locations that I went to. They put it in the back. How awesome is that? If only the Seattle location can take note of that. Put it in the back as a last case scenario. I still prefer a bag and board it or none at all. That's my high preference, but on the back, I will settle for it. So we have Namor, the first meal number one. Who knows if Marvel will ever come out with um, his own series. He doesn't seem to be one of the popular characters from Marvel. The Order, Bearing Edition, Initiative. Don't ask me, I don't know that much about The Order. And I'm not sure even it's still continuation anymore. Oh, I was thinking of DC, okay. For some reason, I was thinking of DC. Shadow Man number eight. Uh, this one they, is part of one of the older ones. So as you can see, it's 2016. So recently they started doing the sticker in the back. I don't blame them for that. This is the first appearance of Master Dark, Valiant Comics. Here's one of the gem of the clearance item. It's number 260 with Nabula. Notice the difference between her and the TV series, I mean the movies. Um, she has long hair without all that funky um, metallic robotic headgear and I got this one um, did he miss the night and day world because of this autograph see that can't pass that up right 25 cents how much did I pay for the Avengers anyway 25 cents because some of these are like 50 cents ones Marvel triple action number 40 this is the 50 cents one Black Knight lives again. Can't pass that off. 1977 count of 50 cents. Hit me up. And of course, you know, on the back, um, you don't have to worry that much about removing the sticker prices on the front. I'm not sure about how CPG grades a comic. Is it based on the whole comic as a whole or just on the front cover? But anyway, Judge Dredd, Legend of the Law. I don't even own one graded comic. What do I know? DC comic. Firestorm number one. He used to be one of my favorite characters to me because he's so powerful. But he still can't take down Superman. Iceman Cometh. Limited series. Issue number one. Kind of miss Iceman being in the X-Men movies. All new X-Men number one. The Shroud number one. He's kind of like the uh, doppelganger of Moon Knight. So he exists in the shadows, Moon Knight is like in the light of the night, something like that. Runaways number one, if you guys remember, I got the Runaways with the valuable one that's worth $100. This is the third series or so, more cartoonish. And I have to admit that TV series is pretty lame. I can't even finish the first episode. Now this one, um, 25 cents, Superman Doomsday graphic novel. Hunter Prey, book number three. All right, that's all of the um, half of the clearance items, I think. Hold on a second, my bad. Here's another one with uh, Batman. This is the movie adaptation featuring, uh, I was gonna say Nicolas Cage. Oh, crap, man, I forgot the name of the actor. Oh, it'll come out of my mind. And also doomed for 25 cents. I actually read this comic. Um, it was a pretty okay read. At first I was thinking it's related to Doomsday, but this is a pretty recent one. It's okay. And let's not forget Shield for 25 cents. Number one. I haven't watched any of the the uh, series, TV series. And this one, since it was bagged, I decided to hit it up. X Factor number 106 with special partial um, hologram cover or whatever you call that it is the Phalanx Covenant. All right, here we go for some of the better stuff. Kabam! Jim Lee Wildcats. This is the DC Millennium. Oh, yeah, it's DC Comics Millennium Edition, even though it says Wildstorm in there. Maybe it's a team up. And I'm a big Jim Lee fan, one of the top five best artists in the world, carnival artists. Red Hood and the Outlaws from the New 52 number one. 
Avengers Academy number 23. As you can see, X23 on the cover joins the Avengers Academy. Gotta have that for $1.50. And last but not least, is the highly sought after Amazing Spider Man number 677 with the Black Cat. Uh, looks like Black Cat has betrayed Daredevil and Spider Man, as you can see on the front. Can't wait for Black Cat to appear in the upcoming Amazing Spider Man movie. It's going to be happening. And of course, I can't wait for the Venom movie with the amazing and talented Tom Hardy. <laughs> Who happened to play Bane in the Batman series? Hey guys, hope you enjoy this epic comic book haul. And don't forget to support my Comics Express subscription. I would definitely appreciate it. From yours truly to you, happy collecting.